Hi, hi, hi. This is HSM Media and my name is Philippa Patricia Curanchi. And we are bringing you the undiluted gospel through movies and series and dramas. So if you are looking for something that will edify your soul and bring many blessings upon you and your family and even friends, then please do subscribe, do share. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll always be reminded whenever we post new videos, so that you won't be alerted whenever we post something new. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Bye. Beloved, we hold the mandate to share the word of God to the world through all the means that the Lord has granted unto us. That is why the Lord, by His own grace, has provided this YouTube channel for us to share the word of God with you through film and Christian movies. In order for this work and the work to progress, help propagate, in order to populate heaven and depopulate hell. Please subscribe to this channel, Heaven Seekers Ministry channel. Don't forget, we are pleading with you to subscribe, like it, and click on the notification bell. My name is Pastor Albert Enchipoku. The Lord bless you and keep you safe. Till we meet again, bye-bye. Let me be as gold and precious silver purify my heart. Let me be as gold, pure gold, refiner's fire. My heart's one. Is to be holy. I choose to be holy. 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 Missy can't see me by it. But you miss her. Now, Ben, I'd be mommy. Fira, please. Please be patient with me. Give me some small time. I would definitely pay every bit of your money. You know how things were when my husband was alive. We never owed you for even a month. But this time, ever since I lost my husband, things are very bad now. I have no one to depend on. I'm afraid for my year, your course be afraid for Nippa Bakum, you know, your mush and my boss on Babo. I mean, Miss Mammy, Mammy, who could I be a name? To me, Jimisica, may man out of paper, Sir Missica and Camensa, may Baba, you never go about ting, never be other fano, so who could change another castle of a cacoda, one more day, walk or down, may man out, now watch it, may burn some sick and your radia, may you never go about ting. Oh, God. <laughs> oh God, please make a way. <laughs> Sing.
Audrey dear, thanks so much. You're welcome, Phineas. You know what, dear? I've been reminiscing about what the Lord has done for us in our lives. In fact, the Lord has really magnified himself and glorified himself in our lives. That's very true. The Lord has indeed been faithful unto us and gracious to this family. Even look at the wonderful baby girl he has blessed us with. Come to think of it, I think I can hear her crying. Let me go and check on her. Yeah, yeah, yes, please. Go for it. Purify my heart, cleanse me from within. Letting us see dad and mom in good health. Sure, sure, dear. I was very happy to see. It's, it, in fact, it's been a long time. I've not seen them for is it years. It's been a long time. And they were also very happy to see us and the baby. Yes, please. God bless you for coming. God bless you too. Phineas. Yes, dear. Is that not Sister Caroline I see there? No, I don't think the same, but this one looks shabby. No, I think she's the one. Let's ask her where she's headed towards and see if we can give her a ride. Okay. Sister Caroline. Oh, where Fanny has. Please, why are you heading to us? Oh, I'm just going along the road. If you don't mind, can we give you a ride? Oh, please don't worry, don't worry. I can just walk our Lexus guys. Nice. Don't worry, don't worry at all. Don't worry. Oh, Sister Caroline. In your condition, please allow us to give you a ride. Do oh. exercising will help but Please do allow us. Oh, <laughs> I would have loved to walk home eh, so that I could exercise, but since you are insisting, let me, let me come in. Thank you very much. Let me be as good and precious silver purified. Thank you so much. You're welcome, sis. Is this your daughter? Oh, she's so beautiful. We give glory to God. By God's grace, that's our first child. We thank God. Oh. Is that Caroline? Yes, please. Please, how is your family doing too? Oh, by God's grace, we are well. Please, our lights are the next junction. Oh, okay, please, no problem. Yeah. Please, my regards to your family. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you very much. Just look at the time. So why is this so-called wife of mine? Ha! Oh, 
afternoon. Good afternoon? What is good about this afternoon? You spend all your time in town refusing to look at the time knowing that my lifetime is past. What do you mean by that? Is that all you can think of? Do you know how I even uh, struggled to get a car under the scorching sun? Is that all you can think of? After all, the kitchen was not locked. Neither are your fingers cut off. Ha! Tell you! Ouch. Say something like that to me! He slapped me! And who do you think you are? Ha! You are an ingrate! <laughs> you call me an ingrate? Yes, that's who you what are. What do you have in this house that I'm not the one who paid for it or who bought it for you? I paid for all the bills in the house. I pay for the, even the dress you wear. Pay for every expense that we make. And just because of cooking, you call me an ingrate? Yes, you are an ingrate. Ah, how can you just think about food? Looking at even the condition that I am in, you are a glutton. sister what can i do i talked to the pastor's wife the other time and she advised that i just resort to prayer so that's all i can do what prayer you must be kidding me prayer prayer as in prayer my sister lawrence is not a believer he doesn't know christ so how would the lord touch his heart how Remember, the Bible says, the face of the Lord is against them who do evil. And Lawrence is an evil man. Hmm. So God's face is turned against him. Why would the Lord listen to a prayer made for him? Hmm. You need to wise up, Caroline, wise up, wise up. <sighs> hmm. Joyce, it seems you are right. It seems you are right. It seems. No, I'm perfectly right. <sighs> come, come, you come, you come, listen to something. I know a place. I'll take you to someone who will help you tune his mind. What? But who can tune his mind aside, God? You wait and see. Wait and see. Hmm. But not today, not today. Because I have something to do inside. Not today, but we'll catch up later so as to know when to go. Okay. Hey, wow, time is even fast spent. I should be going now. I need to cook his lunch before he tears the whole house upside down. Okay, okay, okay dear. Thank you so oh, thank much. You. hectic but it is well I just closed for a meeting but I'm even heading back to the office oh well we thank God all is well here too but I wanted to call you and remind you about church service this evening oh that huh, 
It has completely escaped me. I cannot make it today because there's so much to do. But Phineas, that was the same excuse you gave last week. This is becoming too much. Please, you need to do something about it. Oh dear, that is not my fault. It's because of the workload. But I promise you, things will be different next week. Well, you come home first and let's talk about it. Oh, okay dear. Please see you at home later. Is to be holy, set apart for you, Lord. I choose to be holy, set apart for you, Lord. You are welcome. What brought you here this time of the day? What else will bring me here again? <laughs> it's the friend Paul. Things are getting tougher and tougher every day. I am not happy anymore. Not in the church. Not in my family. I have no friend and no one to depend on. I can't feed myself even for a day. I've become a beggar. People laugh at me and mock me even in the church. They call me all sorts of names. The last time somebody called me a witch. Hmm? Ah, Mr. Frimpong. Why the cast has the same To think that I'm capable of killing my husband and children as I talk to you. I owe my landlord the rent for this year. And come on, 800 cities, I am not getting anyone to help me get that money. 800 cities? I wish my husband was alive. This wouldn't have been a problem. And I'm so sad that sometimes I feel like taking my life. I feel like ending it all. Mr. Rita, I haven't got into that, okay? And no, sir. Mm -hmm. You're yeah, okay. Are you ready, but it's also okay, sir. Mm -hmm. Oh, Eddie, you. Eddie, pa. Eddie, na ma pe me pu. Me nu me humpu se me ye Christo ni san se me humpu pu si pia wo Christo yo kufai wo. Oh. Ah, Mr. Frempo, to me, me to me, a kumunipa. She, in your job, Jamani of fame. And so to me, China could see you yet. A mania will name on and to job, Jen, and for crow. A coya could do the same, the year of Krakatin and said, To me, Raddy. Never think I won't come. Now, soon in the mood, Jan and Mutin. She will yet to one, send you a decision and one. Miss Row. Nyakuma, mm. the Lord is in control. Everybody, tears. It be a very fine. Mm. Come, come out to you. Why? Come out to you. You won't understand. Look at certain people that threw us came to this church a few months ago. Look at how they are going on in their businesses. Look at how they are flourishing in everything that they do. What went on wrong with me? I have been in this church for several years. I have taken part in everything that the church does. With my little money, I do everything and I do everything with a good heart. Why don't I see results? Why don't I see anything good in my life? Mimi Abba, Israel, Sa 800 Nana Wukan. To see the young Hannah A, six hundred Ghana. Nankampesa would you answer? Now, dear, Fakuma, if you run, 
You, you, this woman. What are you doing here? Good evening. Keep your greetings. Hey, he. I'm not telling you to see me. So some memla, 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 memla. Hey, everybody in the church don't want you to be near her husband. Why? Hey, 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 Listen to me, please, please, leave my husband for me, please. Hey, hey no way for from against my marriage, husband. Don't jump for me, madam. What are you holding? Give it to me. Hey, my mother can't come for me. You, you. Mom, by foot is so, by foot is so. Go come, 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 hey. Stop that! I haven't come to you. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Hey! Madam! Wait for me. Go, 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 go. I am coming. Ah! I don't want to bring any problems in your marriage. Let me go. Oh. 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 Since you have refused to repent from your witch, okay. I have baptized you. What have you done? Next time, I will pour you pepper. What's up? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Equia, Equia, Equia. Let me go. Let me go. Oh, eh? Oh, ah. Oh, let me go, my boy. Oh no. Let me go. Let me go. Ah. What do you want to hear, woman? I have an unfinished business with that rat of a husband of yours. How dare you touch the unbeatable one of the great forest? That cannot be. Mm. He is a child of God, mm. a Christian. Mm. Unbeatable one, mm. surely you jest. There is only one unbeatable one, mm. and that is Jehovah God himself. Mm. And what unfinished business do you think you have with my husband? Shut up! Here what? I am here to tell you. So what you say? Ufi e kwa in ewa. Ubi diye esi wudi echi. Hmm. Achechi diye. Se ope ni moja dudua. Yet it's you, Ephraim. That's your husband. Of the Nesatu Abelwadian. And he can never take it off. He cannot. You are 
liar. Mm. My Bible says mm. that surely there is no enchantment mm. against Jacob mm. and no divination mm. against Israel. Mm. And it makes me understand that only what God has purposed will stand. Mm. So depart from here, whoever you call yourself. Listen! This is a word of caution. I will be back. And no one, I mean no one, including you and your God, can stop me. Depart from here in Jesus' name. <laughs> A dream was that. <laughs> Father, I pray and I bind every plot of the evil one against my family, against my husband in the name of Jesus. May their plots come to naught, Father. We humbly pray that, Lord, your precious blood will destroy all their plans in the mighty name of Jesus. It's good to have you at home on weekends, Phineas. I would love to be home all the time to take care of you and the baby. It's just that I need to work too. I understand that. So how is work going? How are things? How is everything? Uh, with a spiritual wife back in me, with prayers. Uh, everything is moving fine. We are just booming. We thank God for that. Uh, Phineas, I have something serious I want to discuss with you. Mm. Okay, please. Last night I had a terrible dream. And I think it is a wake-up call for our family to get more serious with God. In the dream I saw a man with a horrible countenance. An evil looking man. Very evil looking. And he said he had an unfinished business with you. With me? <laughs> no weapon found against me shall prosper. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I know that Phineas. But still, this man seemed to be looking for you. He said he had unfinished business with you. Do you know any such person or have you had any encounter with such a person? Me? Don't you believe I'm a Christian anymore? What fellowship has darkness with light? I'm surprised you are asking this. <sighs> well, I'm sorry if I offended you, but I just wanted to make sure everything is alright. And that brings me to another thing that I wanted to discuss with you. It's about your inability to attend weekly services of late during the weekdays. As the spiritual head of our home, I don't think it is helping matters. I think you need to stand up on your feet spiritually again, Phineas. Hmm. You are right, dear. But it's not intentional. Just that the workload on me is too much. I need to be considering bringing many hands on board so as to make time to build up my spiritual life. Okay, I've heard you. And Pastor also said he wants to see us after church, God willing, on Sunday. Oh, Pastor Edio. Okay, please, dear. I will see him. Thanks so much. Let me go and check on our daughter. Yes, please. Quickly do. Purify my heart Let me be as gold And precious silver Purify my heart Let me be oh. as gold Oh dear, why are you coming from at this time of the night? 
And who are you to ask me such a question in my own house? But I'm your wife and I have every right to know. Huh. I hope my food is ready. You formed everything and everything is waiting for me. <laughs> you make me laugh. Do I look like your maid who stays in this house to warm up your food or cook for you whilst you stay up um, that late? Oh, then I'm sorry to disappoint you. That's so absurd. I'm so sorry to disappoint you. I'm not your maid. Perhaps you should be bringing in one of those your useless sisters who have nothing doing over there to you come bring and my sister in this case. This is even small. Next time, you will see. I'm telling you. I send you on an errand. The wicked angels of the forest. Hmm. That little boy. Called Phineas. A cockroach like him thinks he can disgrace me. Hmm. Tonight is the end of his life. Hmm. 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 You, Phineas, you shall die. Phineas, hmm, hmm, you shall die. Who, 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 who? all that you've said. And indeed, I am not at all surprised at these happenings. You see, marrying outside of God 
brings so many crises. But the truth of the matter is that God is not expecting you to resort to divorce as a solution. No. He's rather calling you to prayer. Hmm. But mommy, what sort of prayer at all would change this man? He's too evil and he doesn't fear God at all, mommy. Hmm. My daughter, let me tell you something. You can be an agent of change in your home and in the life of your husband as well. Eh? The wife is the beauty of the home. Hmm? You have a lot of work to do. Remember that the Bible says that he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 12. The wife is the favor because of the features and attributes ingrained in her. She's the Proverbs 31 wife, Nkeru, full of virtue and amazing attributes. Now to analyze the scriptures of Elia, he says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. And what, my daughter, will you describe as good? One which is productive, wonderful, valuable, trusted, acceptable and comforting my dear are you being all this to your husband hmm. or because you think he's a sinner he doesn't deserve that my dear the bible doesn't say it's a righteous man who finds a good thing when he finds a wife so the lord expects you to treat him the same way as you would have done if you had a, a godly man when he meets you with all the insults and so on how do you also respond as a wife do you show him that you are different and a Christian? Or do you also join in and rain insults on him? Darling, a virtuous woman picks her words or selects her words like choice silver. She knows the impact of her words and so speaks towards the uplifting of her home while she stands up in prayer until she sees her desires materialize. My dear, Know that being a wife is a whole ministry in itself and understand that call and take your position as the keeper and the builder of your home through God's grace. Hmm? I've heard all that you've said, mommy. I'm very grateful. I've realized so many mistakes that I have made. Hmm. If so, my dear, take up your home in prayer tonight. Hmm? And then God willing, tomorrow, go and mend your home. Hmm? God is in control. Mm -hmm. He will make the necessary changes that you need. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Come, come, come my daughter. Mm -hmm. Give me a hug. Hmm? Don't worry. Once our God is in, everything will be fine. Hmm? Just follow my advice to the way, to the letter, and you'll be all right. You will testify of it very soon, okay? Mm -hmm. Take heart. Take heart. This one. This one. Jehovah, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jehovah, the man of war. Cast me not away from thy presence, O oh Lord. Take not thy Holy Spirit from me. His mercies endure it forever and never. Oh, praise the Lord of hosts. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Settled in heaven. <laughs> <laughs>
and renew a right spirit within me. <laughs> oh Lord our God Almighty in heaven, it is indeed true that forever, oh Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Father, I'm pleading for your mercy upon my home. Father, have mercy upon my home, oh Lord. <laughs> I humbly pray and come before thee, Father, interceding on behalf of my family, Lord. Hmm. Hmm. Father, your word says that they shall surely gather, but not by you, Lord. And whosoever shall rise against us in judgment shall we condemn. Oh, Lord, we am praying to condemn every plot and plan of this in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, your word has made us understand the Father, a contrite and a broken spirit, Father, thou will not reject. Father, have mercy, have mercy, O oh Lord. Father, I have come unto you broken. Jesus, Lord, I pray for your church, O oh God. Your word says you shall build your church and the gate of us shall not withstand. We commit, O oh God, your church unto you, O oh God. The Father, let, O oh God, your fire, O oh God, burn every miss multitude, O oh God, within your church in the name of Jesus. Purify your church, O oh God. Refine your church, O oh God. Refine your people, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. 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 Will strive be the orchestrations of the enemy concerning any member of your church, O oh God. Father, fight for your church, oh God. Jehovah, fight for your church in the name of Jesus. On behalf of my husband, Phinehas, Father, oh Lord, our God, any clusters of death, Lord, any hold of the enemy that he's trying to grip my family with. Hmm. Hmm. Father, have mercy upon my home. Father, have mercy upon my home. Father, Lord Jesus, have mercy upon my home. Father, the enemy, the devil, the demons of my home. Father, have taken charge for so long. Father, by your word has made me understand that whatsoever thing we shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. We have the pray that they will be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, you your word says in Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 15 that whatsoever thing we shall lose on earth shall be lost in heaven. Father Lord Jesus, the gate to my home has been opened unto the enemy for too long. But Father, I stand upon your name this night. And Father, I shut every door, every opening unto the unto demons, unto the devil, unto the enemy, into my home. I pray and I shut them up all in Jesus mighty name father I pray and I shut all of them up in Jesus mighty name from henceforth my home will be a peaceful home my home will be a loving home from henceforth my home will be a God fearing one oh Lord <laughs> my home will be God fearing oh Lord oh psycho to my Marianda oh shite to my Maria day father speak into my home father speak peace into my home Father, speak peace into my home. Speak harmony into my home. Speak unity into my home. In the name of Jesus. Luka suketori anderebebebe. Manda inda haba. Jesus. My son, my son. Pray for Phinehas and family. And family. My son, my son. Pray for Phinehas and family. Yes, <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for your revelation, oh God. Lord, oh God, I pray for Brother Phineas, oh God. Father, your word says, oh God, you shall contend with him that contended with us, oh God. And you, Jehovah, shall save our children. Lord, I left Brother Phineas unto you, oh God. Whatsoever be the plus of them concerning his life, oh Brother Phineas, you belong to God. You belong to Jehovah. For your word of God makes me understand in, 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 in Psalm 91, verse 9. One that he that dwelleth in the secret of Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You belong to Jesus. You belong. Hmm. Hmm. 
Who could be interrupting my way? Hmm. Hmm. Or has that little rat called Phineas, that cockroach, reconciled with his God to regain his position? I cannot be. Hmm. I am the unbeatable one of the great deadly forest. Phineas, you shall die! We really thank God so much for the deliverance. To tell you this, this wasn't what the enemy plotted at all. They wanted to kill you with the slightest chance they had. And the Lord by his mercy saved you through your wife. Pay the revelation that the Lord gave you to me. It would have been deadly. Glory be to God indeed, Pastor. Mm. That day I just felt a sudden urge mm. to pray and intercede for this family because I could feel the threat of death hovering over our home. We thank the Lord indeed for his mighty deliverance. Pastor, God will bless you, Pastor. And I promise to go back to my first love. The Lord will heal you, my son. You see, um, my wife and I, after the revelation that the Lord gave unto us, we prayed fervently for both of you. I tell you this. The Lord wanted you to see what the plans of the enemy were concerning you. The Lord just made you to experience just the tip of the iceberg. For you to say this, Brother Neas, you really need to turn to God. Do not be sluggish in coming to God again. I see this as a way that the Lord is using to draw him onto himself once again. Okay. My son, God will help you. Amen. And heal you. Amen. God will heal you and heal your home in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, dear Lord Jesus, we bless you, O God. Indeed, your word is true. You say we reveal it to redeem. We pray in the name of Jesus that even as we've revealed, O oh God, Father, O oh God, we destroy every weaponry of the enemy against my, this son of yours and against his home in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray, O oh God, that Lord Jehovah God, even as your word says, O oh God, healing is the bread of your children. Father, hear him in the name of Jesus. Anita, I am at the hall. Okay, I'm coming. All right. Robert. Yes, Anita. <laughs> ah, why, why are you so happy this time? Guess what? Yes, what is it? You see, I told you that there are strange curses around Finney has, but you didn't believe me. Mm -hmm. I heard that upon all his financial upliftment and all. He has been struck by sudden deadly disease. What? When did that happen? <laughs> I was told just yesterday or so. You see, I told you when he came to this house, I told you that what if he brings strange curses around us? You didn't believe me now, have you seen? Enough, woman. Have you seen? Enough, oh, enough about oh. this. Ah! We shouldn't rejoice over someone's plight. 
but rather we should remember them in prayer. Huh. Weren't you the same person who became so close to him after his financial breakthrough and loved receiving gifts from him? Ah, what is happening? Oh, please, enough. Oh, I only came here to tell you what is going on. Don't start condemning me now, please. If you like, you can keep on praying for him. You can even fast for him. Fast for me. Oh, I'll keep on praying for myself and my children. Excuse me. Hey, this woman. Hmm. But could Phineas really be cursed? Cursed? Oh, has he fallen into sin? Oh, is Anita right about what he says about him? Dear, what is it? Dear, I don't like this decision about Phineas coming to stay at her place. Ah, I thought we were done discussing this. Brother Phineas is my friend. For many years now, should we now turn our backs on him at this time? We're not turning our backs on him. But can't you see everything around him is falling apart? What if he's cursed? Won't he affect our home with it too? Woman! A curse? How? Can't you see everything around him is falling apart? What if he's full of bad luck and affects us too with it? Hmm. Well, it's not mine for me to judge. But I'll just pray for him. In fact, the world is full of attacks and evil. my life oh but I have no option I have no family and friend and anyone to call my own what am I living for why should I even live for a second I'd better die I'd better die. <laughs> oh God, have mercy, but I have to die. I'm fed up. <laughs> I'm fed up, I'm fed up, I'm fed up. <laughs> I'm so fed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> this is not what I want, but I have no option. <laughs> I have no option. I have no option. <laughs> Who would even care when I'm gone or I'm dead? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I am to end it for. <laughs> To intensify these prayers because obviously an evil gate has risen against us 
But even as the Lord has said in Revelation chapter 1, verse 18, He says, I'm he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I'm alive forevermore. Amen. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. And so no gates of hell, no gates of death shall be able to override us. In Jesus' name. Let God arise. And his enemies be scattered. Let God arise. And his enemies be scattered. Let God arise. And his enemies be scattered. Let God, let God arise. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Phineas, this is the man. This is the man I saw in my dream, the one I told you about. Oh, I just can't say. So it was you? Yes. It was me. How dare you? You little rats. An insect like you. Challenge I. The unbeatable one of the great forest. Yes, you are right. Mm. I may be a rat, mm. but in case you have forgotten, mm. I am the child of the living God. Mm. And so I have overcome the world mm. because greater is he that is in me mm. than he that is in the world. Mm. And so we have overcome you. Mm. May your words be thwarted now. Yes! And the Bible also says that when our Lord Jesus came, he blotted out the handwriting of ordinances that were written against us, which were contrary to us. He took them out of the way, nailing them to the cross. And having spoiled all principalities and powers, he triumphed over them, making a show of them openly. Because of that, we have triumphed over you. Isaiah 49 verse 24 for the win also says, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty, all the lawful captive delivered? But thus saith the Lord God, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contended with thee. The Lord will fight for us. Hebrews 12 29 says, That our God is a consuming fire. So depart now in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, fire! Oh, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless your holy name for the victory. been pondering um, upon how we've been living our lives in this house <laughs> especially on my part and I have realized that I have not been the Proverbs 31 woman that the Lord wants me to be I have not taken charge of this home and also trying in, um, to build this home as the Lord expects of me I've realized so many mistakes that I have made and I'm here just to plead with you. Now kindly forgive me. I'm really, really, really sorry for everything that I have done. I'm really, really, really sorry. I don't want us to live like how we've been living anymore. Please forgive me. No, honey. I think I should be the one going down on my knees for you. Please turn up for me and sit down, please. You know, I should rather... Uh, go down on my knees for you. I am the man of the house and the breadwinner as well. And I should have ensured that we've achieved all the necessary things that we were supposed to achieve in marriage, like the peace, the security, and all the other good things. I wasn't able to do so. And I should be the one apologizing to you. And I, I say to you with deep regret that I'm very, very sorry for all that I've, the pain that I've caused you, everything. You know, please, uh, Please forgive me. I want you to find a place in your heart 
and forgive me of all the atrocities I've caused in your lives. It's okay. For that and... It's okay. Let's not talk about the past. I think right now all we need to do is pray for the grace of God upon our home and also make the Lord the head of this home for he is the Prince of Peace so that he will continue to grant us peace in this home. So it's nothing. Let, let thank us you. Pray. Let us pray. Father and God, we thank you. Be Oh, it's Carol. Hello, baby. Hello, mommy. How are things? Mommy, the Lord has started working. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, mommy. I've apologized to him by God's grace as you advise. And mommy, he even also apologized to me. And by God's grace, now everything is okay. We even prayed together, mommy. I've started feeling calmness in my heart and the peace in my heart. Oh, mommy. Praise the Lord. My God, we bless God. Carol, we bless God. Hey, now all that we need to do is continue in prayer and in studying the word of the Lord. And things will definitely change. Okay, mommy. Hmm, mommy, I'll, I'll continue to do that, mommy. Okay, mommy. I'll come and see you over the weekend, mommy. Okay, please. All right. Bye, mommy. Bye, baby. Bye, baby. Oh, God. Ah, I'm so happy. God, I give you all the glory and all the praise. Thank you. Continue to work in my daughter's life. Oh, Hmm. My dad called me right before he came and told me how I just sent you or whoever he calls himself 
has mm. suffered severe burns mm. and had confessed of all the evil things he had done, mm. now being in a very critical condition. I'm only praying that the Lord will touch him and then save him as well. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 Ah, we thank God so much for that spiritual restoration in your home. In fact, it's one of the reasons why God put together husband and wife ah, to help each other in this heavenly journey. We bless God. That reminds me. Last week, my wife went to the market. Caroline and the husband were here. And glory be to God. That young man gave his life to Jesus. Oh, we thank God for that. Amen. Amen. In fact, it's a confirmation of what the Lord does with us. Because we've been remembering them in our prayers. Although Caroline was at the month and did not heed to my advice. But here she's my daughter. And then it's the joy of the Lord. And our joy to you. That all of you, things move on well with you. Oh God. Pastor, God richly bless you. Amen. For keeping us in your prayers all the time. And also checking up on us from time to time. Oh, oh, glory be to God. Oh, glory be to God. If I will bless the name of God for all that he's doing. And it's my master's job. And then that's the duty, God to duty. I need to do my master's call. One thing that baffles me. My sister Lord Writer. But what the Lord revealed to me, last I was just sitting here, meditating upon the word of God. And the Lord revealed to me, this time the writer was in hell. In hell? Oh no. Oh no. I knew something was wrong when our own dear sister took her own life and commit suicide. Oh no, this is devastating. She failed to stand the trial of times. She failed to stand the test of times. May the Lord have mercy. You see, God has time and season for everyone. And he takes us through his refinery to polish and prepare us for glory ahead. If we try to escape this earthly fire that we go through, how can we escape this eternal damnation fire that has no quench? You cannot. Let us humble ourselves so that God take us through his refinery and be passed for his people. All the same, let us pray and seal your good health and this good news God has given unto you with the blood of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. i uh -huh. 
me from my sin. 